The year was 68, 1968. We had five people in my family. And it was a good house. It was on, um, in San Mateo, California. My mom and my dad, they, they came from Germany. It was, you know, it was a rough time back then. There was a lot of turmoil in, in the inner city. In that house, yeah. we stayed there three decades, come to find out. Three decades we lasted there. I should say lasted, but, you know, uh, and my dad shooting himself in there was a, you know, a pivotal time in my, my life, evidently. And I, I wondered throughout the years is that what uh, has caused me to be who I am today. I mean, as I sit here, I've sat in uh, almost all the penitentiaries in, in California. Uh, I just stepped off uh, a jolt, you know what I mean? Uh, did 94, 1994 to 07 straight in the level four prisons. And, uh, and I walked my line. And uh, I kind of got a sense of pride by that, which is a damn shame, you know what I mean? Because that's all I got to uh, my, my reputation and, my, and the respect I, I get is, is, isn't enough uh, to, to do me out in the streets. And, uh, but inside in the joints, all I know, you know, I have been for years. And I've often wondered if my father dying, or not dying, was that what it took away what I went through? Uh, you know, my mother had a hard time with us. I was a ward of the court eight, when I was eight years old. I was in reform schools all my life, all my, you know, all my long, young life, you know what I mean? My best years of my life, well, my best years of my life, somebody says the best years of your life, when's that? You know, most people's maybe 20, 21 or something. I mean, mine was like 15 to 14. That was my best. And I'm a, I'm, I kind of like think that I'm a hard kind of dude, you know what I mean? My feelings are kind of like suppressed. But when I do this kind of stuff and I talk about my family, which I don't, because they've, uh, it's just something I don't, you know, I don't do. I've talked to so many shrinks in my life. And it, it, um, if I actually paid for them, they, you know, um, they would all have limousines and yachts by now with all the money I could have given them. I have an opportunity to say a story here. And the story is, you know, of a, a, a tragedy. You know what I mean? And I wonder with that tragedy, you know, could it have been something different? You know? I love my sisters, both of them. They went, they went the complete direction that I should have went, schools, everything. You know, they married. My mom tells me, how come someone so smart be so stupid? I'm 52 years old right now. I haven't stayed out of prison or jails since 1981. For a whole year, I have not been able to do that. That's not cool. I mean, I thought it was cool going to prison once, one time. You know what I mean? Get my buff on, come outside, girls dig it. I thought it was cool. It ain't cool. 1981 is the last time I've ever stayed out a whole year, you know? That's a long time. And I wonder if my dad would have been around. Would that have made a difference? And I think, well, I don't know. I have a daughter. I just met her when she was 18. It was such a Jerry Springer show, me and her. I hope to get it better. And if nothing else comes out of this story, I mean, if you're a dad, you need to be with your kid for one thing, because I didn't have mine. And I think that makes a difference. It, should, it, it could have made a difference with mine. I'm going to be all right. God's good. I'm going to still be okay. That's it. That's good. <laughs>